Once there was a mountain man who couldn't write his name, yet he deserves a front row seat in history's Hall of Fame. He forgot more about the Indian than we will ever know. He spoke the language of the Sioux, the Blackfoot, and the Crow. His name was Jim Bridger. So, imagine it's 1933, and in 1929 you had the stock market crash, and then 1930 you had the Dust Bowl. But you're, you're a kid during that time, and you go into the corner store, and you've got a penny. And a penny was a lot, lot of money back then. So you could spend that penny on a piece of candy, eat it, you're done, you're done with your penny. Get a piece of gum, chew it up, flavor goes out, you spit it out, you're done. Or you could take that penny and get you a pack of, uh, get you a pack of uh, Gowdy's Indian Chewing Gum. And inside that pack, you're going to get a card, several cards. And it'll tell you about various different Indian chiefs and Indian rituals, Indian, Indian practices. And some of those cards contain heroes, famous generals, scouts, and mountain men. One of those cards, number 54, is of Jim Bridger. It's the most sought-after collectible card that you can imagine. Very expensive card. Um, I laid my hands on one. I'm going to share it with you. It's pretty cool. So it's the Gowdy number 54 Indian Chewing Gum Jim Bridger card. Uh, think about being that kid back in the 30s, and you got that penny, and you spent it, and you got that card. Now, this is, this is a long time ago. Well, there it is. There it is. Yep. Yeah. Sports card guarantee. Gowdy Indian Gun, number 54. Jim Bridger. Here you'll see an example of a beaver fur top hat. This is what drove the fur trade. This hat right here. This hat is what killed the fur trade. It's a silk top hat. Once they discovered the silkworm could uh, make a better hat, they stopped using the beaver felt for quite a bit. Now, the beaver felt top hats only used the under fur. The rest of the hair was discarded. To make the hats, they had to separate the under fur from the guard hairs and process using salts of mercury, which was invariably fatal to the hat maker. So that's where the, the saying, mad as a hatter, comes from. It's because when you die from mercury poisoning, you go crazy first. From my cold, dead hands. Stay safe, stay warm, stay free.